Apple Island is a tiny little island located off Negros Oriental near the city of Damageti. It's one of the Philippines premier dive spots as well as offering some fantastic snorkeling. If you want to snorkel with turtles this is probably one of the best places you can do it in the Philippines. To get there you can catch a bus from the Damageti bus terminal. The bus costs around 25 peso. You'll need to catch the bus with a signage bail one. Just tell the bus conductor that you're getting off at Apple Island. And you can also catch a jeepney or even tricycles will take you there. The jeepney will cost you around 20 peso. The tricycle will cost you around 200 to 300 peso. If you catch a bus or jeepney, it'll drop you off at the corner of Malatabe Market. There is signage showing Apple Island. It takes about 45 minutes to get here. From the corner to the pier, it's about 500 meters. If you haven't already arranged a boat trip with the resorts, you can organize a boat trip at the pier. The rates are set here and there's a signage to show what you should be paying for the boat ride. Due to one of the typhoons a couple of years ago, the marine sentry on one side of the island is temporarily closed and it could be years before it's reopened again. And how long do they expect that to last? Oh, according to here, it can wait to seven years or Seven ten. years. Seven, yeah. ten years. Yeah. In size boat, good for four people. Once you organise your boat, you will have to wade out to your boat so your feet will get wet. And then you can see Apple Island in the distance there. The boat ride will take about 30 to 45 minutes depending on ocean conditions. I would check the weather conditions before I left. Then you can see the island as you get closer. There are two main resorts on the island, one Apple Island Resort, the other Liberty. On the left hand side through the rocks is Apple Island Resort and Liberty Resort is straight in front of you when you land. Liberty Resort was fully booked when I was there so I wasn't able to check it out. For cheaper options you can rent out rooms in the village. I'll go into more details in a sec. As you arrive you have to pay a 100 peso entrance fee. I stayed at Apple Island Resort. The resort has its own generator. Power is available between 6pm and to about 11pm. The resort is very rustic and very basic. It's just a beautiful little spot to stay at. It's the most picturesque resort on the island. This video was taken on my SLR. The resort has its own restaurant. Again, meals are very simple here. Here's a sample of some of my meals. This is the breakfast. And here's a copy of the menu when I stayed. The resort has its own dive shop. This is the room I stayed at. Rooms are very basic, have fan only. They have mosquito nets, which I didn't need to use as I was in the dry season. There was no running water. Fresh water is transported from the mainland. So in the shower you have two buckets, one fresh water for showers and the other bucket is salt water for flushing the toilet. This is the room I stayed a few years ago in one of the main buildings. Again, very simple and basic. You can snorkel just out the front of the resort. Here I saw a lionfish and some corals and other fish. Then there's the main beach, which is fantastic for snorkeling as there's so many turtles around. The turtles aren't perturbed by you and you can get right up close with them. This is possibly the best snorkeling I've done up close with turtles. And I must have seen about half a dozen turtles. You can see the turtles approximately about 100 metres offshore. They seem fairly tame and run perturbed by me swimming close by them.
the turtles coming close to shore to feed on the sea grasses. This is a small village that you can walk through. The locals are very friendly and easy to talk with. Here they sell souvenirs, and this is where you can find some cheap accommodation in the form of homestays. There are a number of houses that rent out rooms for about 500 peso, which includes breakfast. This is just the coffee and bread. Bear in mind the village only has electricity for a few hours a night. It starts from about 6, 6.30 p.m. to about 9, 9.30 p.m. every night. As you can see, the rooms are very basic. I'll put more details on the website. The link will be below the video. On the other side of the village is the marine sanctuary, which I've discussed before, which is closed. When I arrived back onto the mainland of Negros Oriental was market day, so all the stores were full of people and selling products. I actually stayed at one of the resorts on the way back to Dumaguete. There's plenty of resorts along here. I'll do a review of this resort in a future video. Overall, Apple Island is one of my favorite islands I've been to. It is very basic, you don't have any luxuries and there's limited power on the island. Apple Island is all about the diving and the snorkeling and people just rave about the place. And once you've been, you can understand. The snorkeling around the island is just brilliant. Getting up so close to the turtles was something I'll never forget and I can highly recommend the place. For more videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.